Hello, hard workers. I'm Andy and you're watching Infotech channel. On this platform, I help people to find a new job, to create a good resume, to make you appealing for your uh, potential employer. And I typically discuss with you uh, what it takes to actually be successful on job market. In most cases, I talk about IT jobs, but today it's going to be universal. It doesn't matter what kind of job you work at. We will discuss how to ask for promotion, but most importantly for a salary raise. Because let's be honest, uh, you don't care about what your new position would be called like, right? You don't take pride in moving from junior to senior. You basically don't care. What you care about is salary raise. At the end of the day, salary raise is what matters. Well, it's not a surprise to anyone that prices go up, right? In the past three, four years, it's been crazy and inflation is at all times high. So you and me need more money to survive, basically. First, I'll tell you how not to ask for promotion or for salary raise. I've been doing it for years with very little success until I found a pretty good method that I'm about to share with you how to properly ask for salary raise or end promotion. I was doing, and I'm pretty sure this is something that 95% of people do, unfortunately, and that's why they don't have success when they ask for promotion. You typically go to your manager or project manager and you say, well, it's close to end of the year or end of fiscal year. And uh, I've been thinking about maybe I would get a promotion because I've been working hard. And this is where your downfall starts because your manager senses that that's end of a year and you just bring, bring up this conversation from the very beginning, right? And there is no really time to evaluate your performance or to change goals or anything. And they would give you a list of what you need to do next year in order to get a promotion at the end of the next year. That's the huge, huge, big mistake. Don't do it this way, all right? Because manager will instantly counter it with something like, oh yeah, you know what, Andy? Um, I think that uh, you will deserve promotion if you achieve new goals that we will previously discuss, right? You will need to, you will need to get something done for the company and then we will talk about your promotion. And your manager will start asking you, all right, Andy, have you uh, been mentoring anyone this year? All right, did you help anyone from uh, like new hires, for example, or have you participated in new hire, like trying to get new talents for our company? Then your manager will probably say, uh, also, you will need to get this subject matter expert um, degree. You know, uh, because you are a tenured engineer, for example, but you still don't have that SME degree. So you've got to work on that too, and then we'll discuss your promotion. After which your manager will probably say something like that. Well, you need one or two personal goals to be fulfilled. You also need a business goal. And then you need a transformational goal or two, all right? After you go through all these bullet points and you show me results, we will talk about your salary raise or promotion. See how you will not be getting promotion this year and possibly even the next one. You will be working like crazy two or three times harder, but still there would be one or two bullet points that you would not be able to fulfill or some achievements that you would not be able to conquer. So instead, I suggest you will follow my method and my suggestions. And here it is. How to do it properly. So A or number one, start working on your promotion early in the year, all right? First quarter, like as soon as year starts or fiscal year, maybe in your organization, I don't know what the deal is uh, with your HR at your particular company, but start, start early and go first for mentoring. Contact your project manager or any manager that you report to and say, so we're hiring people this year, right? 
we anticipate some uh, new folks uh, joining the company and they'll say, yeah, yeah, we, we're gonna add like two or three new engineers and maybe another project manager and then another developer and so on, right? So you go, actually, I've been looking at our new hire to-do list, right? And I noticed something that's not uh, really in order or I'm pretty sure I know how to help these new hires. Um, you can assign one or two people uh, to me personally and I will help them to get up to speed, you know, after they join the company. And it's a very easy to do work. Basically, you will have one or two team calls or maybe one call and um, uh, one follow up message, all right, via Teams um, or whatever you use, Slack, whatever you use in your company. Uh, first one is going to be you introduce yourself, they introduce yourself, you tell what you do, uh, they are going to tell uh, you about their previous experience. Then they would ask two or three questions about how to put hours in Dell Tech, right? How to track time that they work, who they report, whose project manager is, what exactly is um, your job or their job is gonna be about, right? How they communicate with other team members. It's like very easy stuff, all right? So it's gonna be like 20 minutes cold. And then in a month or two, you follow up and say, so is everything okay, all right? Uh, are you like feeling comfortable in your new uh, role, in your new position? And they would say, yeah, thank you so much. And eventually, if a manager comes back to them, they say, yeah, Andy's been so helpful. All right, he like shared links with me where I like reach to someone discussing my benefits, right? Uh, where I can find information about uh, our organization, how I filed for the health insurance or whatever, right? So. Basically, this is a pretty easy stuff to do and something that you already know and you have these links because you've been going through the process yourself. So that's going to be mentoring and or helping to hire new talents. So you say, I have extra time here and there, like uh, this month or next month, I can be on call, you know, like um, uh, hiring new people, uh, maybe um, going through uh, interview process with someone over the phone or video call, technical, non-technical, right? Again, it does not take too much time. Maybe it will take one hour of your time in a month, all right? And you done with first base. You covered your first base. You helped your company to hire new talents or you helped new talents to get up to speed in their role in your company. Whatever you do, always write it down, record that stuff, because in the future, you will show it as your portfolio, as your promotional package, something that you've done and you deserve a promotion. And then you go to step number two or B. Closer to the middle of a year, you go for the next move, for the next step. You uh, create new goals, maybe put it on paper, right, somewhere in a document, and or in your my work day website if you have something like that in your company or organization somewhere where you set goals for yourself and then you track the completion of these goals all right make sure that one of your goals is um, more or less technical another one is that you basically uh, achieving some kind of people goal like communicating with people right and and it's so easy it's like literally uh, only in America, <laughs> you know, uh, th that's how it's done. You discuss with your manager a possibility of you cont contacting different people through your organization and introducing yourself and saying, well, I'm here to help you if you have questions about, like, you work in databases, you ping three, four, five people and say, well, I'm a database engineer or cloud engineer, and I'm here to help you with any questions you have regarding databases or development process or whatever you do, right? And that is already considered to be a goal, right? People's goal, because you communicate with people, they know you, you know them, right? You kind of uh, establish personal relationship between people in the company, right? So it's people's goal. And then in one or two months, you'll say, yeah, I contacted this and these people. So I communicated, I helped maybe even someone or answered questions, right? And put it all on paper, record it in your My Work day website because this is something that your manager will see eventually at the end of the year number three or c that is for the second half of the year think of a course or certification program that you want to take 
something that, that would benefit you in the future in your career anyways. For example, you work as a cloud engineer, go for some kind of solutions architect associate certificate with Amazon Web Services, right? Or anything related to your next step. You wanna be a developer in the future, take some kind of development course with Visual Studio coding, right? And then it's not necessarily even need to be a paper, like actual certificate. In a lot of cases, you take a course online and in the end, especially if it goes through your organization, uh, like Udemy uh, partnership with um, uh, Booz Allen, with Amazon, with like different companies. And then through that company, you can listen to the course for free. In the end, you'll be issued a certificate of completion with your name and date on it. Take a screenshot and save it in your My Work Day website. That is gonna be a very good point whether you took a certificate or you have certificate of completion, like you're working on your career, you're advancing your knowledge, you're advancing your career, it looks good and would be a good point to, um, you know, make sure that your promotion will go through with, with the manager. Also, somewhere in the middle of the year or closer to the end of the year, start asking for feedback from your coworkers. That's a big plus. Find people that you communicate with often. It could, could be your scrum master, someone who leads uh, daily stand-ups, right? And tracks the completion of some different tasks, right? Someone that you have personally good relationship with, right? Uh, uh, maybe another engineer also that you talk to as almost like friends, right? Anybody who complimented you throughout the year on your work, all right, reach back and say, well, I would like to ask for a feedback on my work, on my professional achievements. And these people would even give you more credit than actually you deserve typically, because they know if they ask for something similar, you would also give them a good feedback and good review, all right? These reviews, uh, you don't even control, right? You send it as a link and they would put a good review for you, which goes straight to your project manager, someone that you report to. So when they see three or four very good and positive reviews from your coworkers or maybe other managers, that's gonna be a huge plus to get your promotion. After you have achieved everything I said above, you go to the final phase, discussing your promotion and salary raise with your manager. Be prepared, know what is next step, all right? Know the name of your current position and what would be next one or two steps above you, all right? What you're asking, it should be clear, it should be transparent, right? If you're a junior, associate or something, uh, aim for next level, like senior developer, right? Instead of junior or whatever, right? So figure out what would be the next step and go for it, like ask for that position, okay? Along with the salary raise, of course. So you will discuss that promotion salary raise with your project manager, but most importantly, also contact someone who's above your manager. Find out who in your organization is responsible for really signing in your promotion, all right? There would be some kind of site lead or manager above your manager. You can find in, in your organization, right? Who reports to whom, you, you will see. Uh, and in most cases, you already know who that is contact this guy and actually don't talk about your salary raise directly but say uh, I'm planning right I'm working on my promotion right now I want to become this and this right or I want this and this raise and I would like to ask you also for uh, a personal feedback if or any suggestion or help uh, that would be appreciated all right in, in, in regards to my promotion if you have any suggestion or you can help with that, I would be very, very happy and appreciative. In most cases, this guy who's above your manager will say, well, yeah, you, you will need to discuss it with your project manager. But then if you guys decide that you are worthy of a promotion, I'm here to help. I'm like 100% in, right? I've heard good words about you. Maybe like, hopefully he will say something like that. But the um, agenda for you, talking to this guy 
is that when your manager reaches out to him, he already knows what's going on. He already knows that you are working on promotion. He would be already 50% sold on it, all right, and ready to give it to you and sign it for you. After all that, in one-on-one -on -one meeting with your manager, you just go for it. When they ask you something like, uh, so do you have uh, questions for me, Andy? You say, yeah, yeah, um, if we get back to that promotion um, that we discussed previously, uh, I'm still working on it, and I hope that uh, my promotional package that I assembled would be uh, enough uh, for me to get a raise. And you start listing what you achieved, right? So, and you say, in my work day, I have achieved this and this and this goal, right? I received this and this certificate. I know that three or four people from my organization gave me a feedback. Um, did you have a chance to, to check on that feedback from my coworkers? And the manager will be, yeah, yeah, I've, I've seen that. Yeah, they, they actually uh, talk very positively about your work and uh, that you are a very valuable member of the team and blah, blah, blah. Right? And then you bring your mentoring uh, certificates of completion or real certificates that you got and that you maybe helped with a particular, I don't know, migration, so like some kind of milestone where you participated. Just make sure you write it all down when you do work. Write everything down so you know how to counter them if they say uh, they're not sure that you deserve promotion, right? You'll say, well, I have achieved that and that. I helped with this and this migration. I developed this and this tool, right? Whatever. I achieved like personal goal. I talked to people throughout the organization. I helped people not only in my team, but cross teams, right? Be articulate, like be very sure about what you say. For that, you need to have a list of your accomplishments. And I'm pretty sure you will have a success this time. I really hope it will work for you. And if you like the material action on the channel, subscribe, like, comment, all right? You can ask questions. In most cases, I will respond to questions and give you more suggestions if needed. Until next time and until next video on Infotech channel, bye.